living securely under our belt, I decided to take an extra day to do a little dispersed camping out in the familiar Metolius Basin, where I did the artisan residence at Subtle Lake not that long ago. And I don't know if I'm gonna even ride my bike. This trip has another agenda. All right, found a little quaint little spot to park for the night. I figured I'll do a little recon ride to just sort of uh, assess the scenario. Cool. Casual cruise. Casual shoes. Uh, and then there's this, which is a pretty elaborate setup for this is like hobo mansion right here holy cow i keep tripping on how red the road is not all of them are like that it's like some kind of luxurious red carpet they lay out for only the specialist of national forest roads something like that now we better make this official here let's just there we go all right uh here's a bit of funny pointless information about the camper van life anytime you do any amount of driving on gravel or sooty material no matter how closed your windows are everything gets covered in moon dust shit is real i don't know it's just like some funny Pointless thing you'd never know unless you did it. Come take a snooze in my sooty dirt pile. It's a little chilly, but I think I gotta go out and uh, play around in the basin just after I finish eating my oatmeal, which looks, it'll, it'll do the job. So I figured the plan would be to go out and explore around just by this map. This is a motor vehicle use map. It's basically all the forest roads in the area. And I thought it'd be interesting to do the whole route just with a paper map. Sounds kind of fun. And it's not raining, so the map won't disintegrate. <laughs> This map is a little too big for, it's like a little ridiculous. <laughs> here a bunch when I did the artisan residence at Subtle Lodge. That was last fall. And it's cool to come back out here and explore the zones. There's so many roads out here that I didn't even get anywhere close to touching. Oh my God. Oh. Those are definitely paw prints. But the terrain is different this time than it was. Last time it was in the fall. This time it's in the summer. And the places change as the seasons change. Three thirty left, straight on four hundred, second right on the four seventy five. Good luck. Is that three hundred? End of the line. All right, well, time to go back down. Holy crap, this descent is so long. 
them planted. I'm just saying. Well, that was fun. A little morning exploratory rip to familiarize myself just a little bit more with the Metolius Basin. These numbers are nothing to be impressed with. They just happen to be what they are. And the morning jaunt by the numbers, two hours, 10 minutes, 21 miles, and 1,963 feet of elevation. Time to clean up, hit the road, back to Portland. Did I ever tell you that I got the water heater fixed for the shower? And I built this cool stand to stand on. So you're not standing in the water. That's sick. I mean, hey, it's not gourmet, but it's portable. And I'm hungry, so it'll taste good. There sure is a lot of dust out here. It creeps into everything. It's in all your clothes, it's all over the camper. It's, e <coughs> it's everywhere. 